When you begin to add JavaScript code to your HTML pages, there are many places that you can do it. Let's take a quick look at the code for this page. Here you can see that we have our standard HTML document, and in our head section, we have a script with the alert which is, looky here, I'm in the head section. Now there is an error in this, and one of the advantages to having JavaScript in a separate file, let's go find that page, adding script, is that when I'm working in brackets, if I save this, it doesn't show an error, but there's actually two errors here. One is an actual error, it needs a semicolon. The other one, this is just a preference of the browser, uh, the window object is what has the alert method. So we can put it in as window.alert. It works either way. It works totally either way. But when we do it as a separate JavaScript, which is how I'm calling it, I have the same error twice here, semicolon. You'll see the alert and window alert do exactly the same thing. But I'm also calling script source chapter 2 a.js. So here we go. Here's my JavaScript. Here, if I don't have my semicolon and I save it, it's going to give me an error in brackets. So one of the reasons that I like to use an external file is because it finds my errors. There's many other reasons for using an external file. The other reason I like an external file is it keeps my code cleaner. I can have all of my JavaScript in one place. I like it separate from my HTML, just like I like my CSS separate from my HTML. So it is common common to uh, have your script in an external page. And I'm going to just flip that back up there and minimize that and let's refresh here. All right, so looky here, I'm in the head section. Looky here, I'm in an external file. And looky here, I'm in the body section. So let's look at that code again. So we have the alert, looky here, I'm in the head section. And that actually displays before the page loads. Watch this. This is important to note. Uh, we should actually go home. Let's go home and then let's go back to adding script sample. So the head section loads here. The external file is called from the section, it loads next. Body section loads last. So there's some discussion as to where should you either write your script or link to your script. Should you do it at the top of the page? Should you do it at the bottom of the page? And really it depends on what your script's doing. If your script needs to do something when the page is loading, it should be in the head. If it doesn't need to do anything until the page is completely loaded, then putting it at the bottom of the page will let the page load a little faster. So there are reasons for doing it both ways. Do it deliberately. So in, again, you can do a script tag in the head, a script tag in the body, or a script with a source statement to link to an external file, and that is my preferred way to do it most of the time. There are exceptions, but most of the time I like my JavaScript to be external. So those are the th places that you can put in your JavaScript files.